But based on where we stand today, I would say two things. First, uh, despite the claims that the president supports a balanced approach, uh, the Democrats uh, have yet to get serious uh, about real spending cuts. And secondly, no substantive progress has been made in the talks between the White House and the House over the last two weeks. Listen, this is not a game. Jobs are on the line. The American economy is on the line. And this is a moment for adult leadership. Campaign-style rallies and one-sided leaks in the press are not the way to get things done here in Washington. The Majority Leader and I just had a meeting with the Treasury Secretary. It was frank and it was direct. I was hopeful we'd see a specific plan for cutting spending. And we sought to find out today what the President really is willing to do. Listen, I remain hopeful that productive conversations uh, can be had in the days ahead. But the White House has to get serious. Yesterday, our leadership team met with Erskine Bowles and business leaders uh, about averting the fiscal cliff and achieving the balanced approach the White House says it wants. And I've made clear that we've put real concessions on the line uh, by putting revenues on the table right up front. Unfortunately, many Democrats continue to rule out sensible spending cuts that must be part of any significant agreement that will reduce our deficit. And Mr. Bowles himself said yesterday there's been no serious discussion of spending cuts so far. And unless there is, there's a real danger of going off the fiscal cliff. Now, listen, going off the fiscal cliff will hurt our economy and will cost American jobs. 